Welcome to the Mint Report. A wrap up of the day's business news. Here are the top stories. Cabinet clears FDI for pension funds. Government may consider fuel swap to help Kingfisher. And markets fall with the Sensex hitting a four week low. Pension funds will finally be able to attract foreign investment. On Wednesday, the Union Cabinet approved an amendment to the pension bill. The Pension Fund Regulatory and Development Authority Bill 2011 caps FDI in the sector at 26%. But the government retains the right to increase this limit since it's not actually part of the bill. Earlier, a parliamentary standing committee had recommended keeping the 26% limit in the bill. Its revised draft will be introduced during the upcoming winter session of parliament. Moving on, troubled airline Kingfisher could be thrown a lifeline that will help it deal with soaring costs. In his dramatic press conference on Tuesday, Chairman Vijay Malia had said the airline had asked the government to allow it to import fuel directly. Mint has learned that the Commerce Ministry plans to respond positively if it believes the request has merit. But the Ministry has also indicated that it has not received a request so far. Importing fuel directly would allow Kingfisher to bypass high state government taxes. Currently, only state-run oil firms can import aviation fuel. Meanwhile, shares of Kingfisher continued to rise even as Indian markets declined. Its stocks jumped 14.42% on the BSC to 25 rupees on a day the Sensex declined 0.63%. And India's top phone company has indicated it believes the industry needs consolidation. Sanjay Kapoor, who's Bharti Airtel CEO for India and South Asia, said consolidations would improve margins. India's telecom industry is characterized by low rates and cutthroat competition. With the value of rupee plunging almost every day, authorities could decide to intervene. On Wednesday, Finance Minister Pranam Mukherjee said the Reserve Bank was monitoring the situation and would act if necessary. Earlier, RBI had said it would intervene in currency markets only to deal with volatility. And finally, a check on the markets. Indian bursts ended in the red for a fifth day in a row. The Sensex ended at 16,776, lower by 107 points. And the Nifty ended at 5,030, lower by 38 points. And that's all we have for you. Thanks for watching.